China's J-20 fighter has just received a major update that's turning heads worldwide, the new J-20S. This isn't a simple redesign. It's the world's first two-seat stealth jet, built not just for flying, but for commanding. With enhanced sensors, advanced radar, and the ability to coordinate unmanned partners, the J-20S signals a shift in how future skies will be managed, blending innovation, scale, and coordination like never before. The J-20S stands apart from every other stealth aircraft in the world. While the US F-22 and F-35 are designed for single pilots, the J-20S is the first operational stealth jet to add a second seat. That back cockpit isn't an afterthought. It's an innovation that reflects a new approach to how modern fighters are used. Traditionally, second seats in fighter aircraft were reserved for weapons systems officers or trainers. Their role was usually limited to helping with targeting, guiding munitions, or supporting new pilots. But in the J-20S, the second seat has been described by Chinese analysts as a mission commander position. This crew member doesn't just assist, they direct. From managing the jet's advanced radar to controlling electronic warfare systems, and, most importantly, coordinating loyal wingman drones, the backseater becomes a central node in the aerial network. To enable this, Engineers extended the J-20's fuselage by about 70 centimeters, creating space for the second cockpit and reorganizing internal systems. Observers have noted changes like a redesigned radome, darker radar absorbent materials, and a new undernose electro-optical targeting system with broader coverage. These aren't cosmetic. They're enhancements meant to make the aircraft stealthier, smarter, and more adaptable to new missions. Another remarkable feature is the Large Aperture Active Electronically Scanned Array ASA, radar. Analysts believe this system could match, or in some cases even exceed. The performance of Western counterparts, giving the J-20S extended detection ranges and the ability to track multiple targets simultaneously. Combined with its new mission commander role, this means the J-20S isn't just another stealth fighter, it's a flying command center. What's more, this shift moves China into territory often described as 5.5 generation. That label reflects the blending of manned operations with drone coordination, pushing beyond the traditional fifth generation envelope. The J-20S is therefore both an aircraft and a platform for experimentation in how humans and unmanned systems can work together seamlessly. This makes the J-20S unique not only because of its design, but because of what it represents. A move away from stealth as a purely individual capability and toward stealth as part of a connected, team-based strategy. Innovation is impressive, but numbers are what change the balance in the skies. And here, the J-20 program is equally significant. Open source reports indicate that by mid-2023, China already had close to 200 J-20S in service across 12 brigades, with three brigades fully equipped with the type. More recent estimates suggest the total fleet has now exceeded that number, and the line shows no signs of slowing. In fact, production is reportedly ramping up toward 100 to 120 aircraft per year, a pace unmatched by any other fifth-generation fighter program worldwide. For comparison, the U.S. Air Force currently acquires far fewer fifth-generation jets each year. While the F-35 program produces more units overall, only a portion of those go to the U.S. Air Force. Others are delivered to allies. This creates a situation where China's annual J-20 output could outpace American additions, leading to a fleet size advantage in a matter of years. The Mitchell Institute for Aerospace Studies places China's total fighter inventory at around 2,225 aircraft. Of those, more than 1,300 are fourth generation and over 320 are fifth generation, including the J-20. Applying a reasonable readiness estimate, 70% combat coded and a 70% mission capable rate, China could have nearly 800 fighters available for operations at any given moment. That's not theoretical capacity. It's an indicator of how much presence can be maintained in the skies. Scale matters because aircraft aren't just built. They must also be maintained, rotated, and sometimes retired. Having a large, rapidly growing stealth fleet gives China the ability to sustain high operational tempo while testing, 
and integrating new upgrades like those found in the J-20S. It also means lessons from one batch of aircraft can quickly be rolled into the next, accelerating the pace of improvement. Just as importantly, this level of production shows that the J-20 is not a boutique or experimental program. It's becoming a backbone of China's Air Force. And the J-20S is part of that expansion, not a side project. The result is that China isn't simply experimenting with new ideas, it's deploying them at scale. The J-20S update carries implications that go far beyond design tweaks. It marks a rethinking of what advanced air power means in the coming decades. The biggest shift is the clear move toward manned-unmanned -man teaming. With the second crew member freed from piloting duties, the J-20S can serve as a command node for drones. These loyal wingmen could extend the fighter's reach, provide additional sensors, carry weapons, or act as decoys, all while being directed from a human in the cockpit. This combination of stealth, scale, and coordination is exactly what future air combat concepts are built on. Another factor is information dominance. With its enhanced radar and sensors, the J-20S is designed not just to hide, but to see further and process more. In practice, this means detecting targets earlier, tracking more simultaneously, and sharing that data across networks. When one jet can do this while also directing drones, the result is a multiplying effect. A single aircraft can influence an entire area of operations. Scale adds another layer. A single advanced fighter can make a statement, but hundreds of them, kept at high readiness, can shift the balance of air power. Analysts note that China's ability to build nearly 120J-20S annually could quickly outpace U.S. Air Force additions, leaving others in catch-up mode. And because these aircraft are already being deployed to brigades, China is gaining practical experience now, not years down the line. The lessons here are clear for anyone observing. Future air power will not hinge on a lone super jet, but on integrated ecosystems. Stealth fighters will serve as both frontline combatants and coordinators, working alongside drones and supported by industrial capacity that can sustain high levels of availability. The J-20S demonstrates this philosophy in action. This development is important because it underscores that air superiority is shifting from being purely about technology to being about a blend of innovation, numbers, and adaptability. And in that blend, the J-20S stands out as a signal of where the future is headed. The J-20S is more than an update, it's a statement of direction. By adding a second seat, upgrading sensors, and scaling production at record pace, China has turned its stealth fighter into a platform for coordination, innovation, and persistence. This signals a new era where advanced jets act as command hubs, not just frontline machines. The J-20S proves that the future of the skies will be defined by integration, adaptability, and scale working together in powerful new ways. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.